Hi guys, welcome to CA Final SCMP or SCPM. We are doing a chapter called as Lean System and Innovations. A company should always try to avoid waste and waste is not only in physical form. Waste could be waste of the time of the workers. It could be unnecessary activities that you are trying to be doing to make your products. So let's try to be eliminating all those types of waste. If you are going to be following that philosophy, we try to be saying we are trying to have a lean system. Now this entire subject is basically how to be running your business and making best use of that trying to be getting the maximum amount of profit from the minimum efforts and uh, our effort is obviously that uh, we try to help you all in trying to be solving every possible question from the module and then every possible question from the board of studies portal so let's see what question we all have in today which principle or technique is considered as a as a base platform for tpm TPM is total productive maintenance. Now, before I give you the four options, TPM is basically a technique whereby we try to maintain our machines in such a way. So therefore, they give the output for which they were purchased. There should be no unscheduled stops. There should be no downtime. Machines should work in a proper way. We should try to have periodic maintenance programs for our machines. So therefore, like, you know, machines work in a flawless way. Like at your home, you might have noticed this. Uh, every two or three months we get our AC service. Then also ACs can become bad for sure. Okay. They can suddenly stop, but the chances of all those things are less. We get our car or our bike serviced every three or four months. After that also, the chances like, you know, bike might still like, you know, one day stop to be working, but chances of all those things are less. Okay. Same thing applies to your machines also in a factory. Do remember machines are one of the factors of production. Okay. So you have to be taking good care of the machines in case machines are not taken care of you all will understand obviously even the quality of the products will start to be getting affected so four options six sigma okay second five s third s m e d and fourth one is kaizen costing in case you all know the answer then this is the time to be commenting pause the video over here comment Now, Six Sigma is basically how to be avoiding waste. Okay. TPM is based upon the principles of 5S. 5S is trying to organize the things in such a way. So therefore you get the best performance. And 5S comprise of five different S that I have told many times in the previous MCQs also. SMED single minute exchange of die. Now it's not covered up in the module. So just explaining that for your reference, like, you know, suppose in clothes, okay. Or say for book printing up and so on, you required dye. Now you used one color and printed half of the book in black. Okay. The remaining has to be say printed in red. Okay. So for that, you will have to be exchanging the dye from black to red. Okay. It should not be taking much amount of time. Okay. That is SMED single ex single minute exchange of dye. Okay. And then you have Kaizen costing. Kaizen costing is small improvements over a period of time makes a big difference. Okay. Now out of all these TPM is total productive maintenance maintain your machines in such a way so therefore there are no unscheduled stops keep the workplace clean try to clean the machines every now and then apart from that like you know whatever uh parts get spoiled every now and then keep an inventory of all those things all these things are basically taken from 5s only because 5s is basically how to organize your entire workplace and total productive maintenance is kind of that particular thing only how to organize your machines, how to keep your machines clean, how to have a periodic service of all those machines up and so on. Okay. So it has got nothing to do with Six Sigma or SMED or Kaizen costing. It is an independent technique, which is based upon 5S. Okay. So therefore out of the four options over here, I guess the option that we should be selecting over here is nothing but in this case 5s so that should be the correct answer so my bet is on b that is the correct one okay i'll see you next time in another question till then happy learning bye